Hello and welcome to Kangtai News of Kangtai Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. The State Audit Office announced an audit of water environment management and protection from 2021 to 2030 in Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, Kangtai and Da Nang. The General Statistic Office forecasts that third quarter GDP growth at 6.2 to 6.7 percent, with annual growth likely meeting the government's 6.5 to 7 percent target. Kangtai City People's Committee has issued a directive to improve efforts against cyber fraud and property crimes, highlighting nine common fraud methods. Top news today. On September 9 morning, the State Audit Office reviewed its decision to carry out an audit on water environment management and protection for production and daily life between 2021 and 2030 in the cities of Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh, Kang Thơ, and Da Nang. The audit aims to evaluate the effectiveness and legal compliance in managing and protecting the water environment for production and daily life in Kang Thơ City. It will identify existing shortcomings and potential negative factors to recommend improvements for audited agencies and relevant units. The audit also seeks to enhance policy mechanism, promptly detect violations, corruption and waste, and assign accountability to individuals and groups for legal action. Following the announcement of the audit decision, relevant agency will begin work with units responsible for water environment management and protection in Gunta City for the 2021 to 2030 period. The audit will last for 52 days. The Center for Rural Water Supply and Environmental Sanitation, part of Gunta City's Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, has carried out four projects to construct and upgrade water supply system in the districts of Phong Dinh, Thoi Lai, Gao Đó, and Yun Thêm. The Center for Clean Water and Rural Environment Sanitation has invested in nearly 500 kilometers of clean water pipelines across the districts, providing clean water to remote areas and meeting the needs of over 14,350 rural households. Currently, 93% of rural households in the city have access to clean water, a figure expected to rise to 94% by the end of 2024, with a target of nearly 100% by 2030. The General Statistic Office forecasts that GDP growth in the third quarter may hit 6.2 to 6.3 range from Resolution 01, with annual growth likely reaching the government's target of 6.5 to 7%. In July and August, industrial production showed positive growth with the industrial production index estimated at over 11% and more than 9%. The processing and manufacturing sector grew nearly 14% and 11%, while electricity production and distribution increased by nearly 8% each. In the first eight months of the year, Vietnam welcomed over 11 million international visitors, the highest for the period from 2018 to 2024, up nearly 46% from last year and almost 1% from 2019. This suggests Vietnam is on track to miss its goal of 18 million international visitors this year. Import and export activities also remain strong. Given this result, the General Statistic Office predict GDP growth for Q3 will fall within the 6.2 to 6.7 percent range specified in Resolution 1, with fully growth likely hitting the government target of 6.5 to 7 percent. Gangta City's total revenue from transportation, warehousing, support services and postal delivery in August 2024 was over 560 billion Vietnamese dong, down 1 percent from the previous month but up 10% year-on-year. Passenger transport reached nearly 147 billion Vietnamese dong, down 0.18% from last month, but up 13% year-on-year. Freight transport exceeded 300 billion Vietnamese dong, down 0.35% month-on-month, but up 11%. Warehousing and support services total over 94 billion Vietnamese dong, down 3% but up 5% year on year. Postal services were over 18 billion Vietnamese dong, down 18% but up 0.25%. In the first eight months of 2024, total revenue reached 4,547 billion Vietnamese dong, up 12%.
transported goods increased 26% to 10.86 million tons and circulated goods rose 27%. According to Gangda City Center for Disease Control, as the new school year begins and students of all levels return to school, the risk of infectious diseases is rising, particularly for illnesses like measles, whooping cough, hand, foot and mouth disease, and respiratory infections. Gangda City Center for Disease Control urges people to actively engage in disease prevention for the 2024-2025 school year, stay informed on the latest disease updates and prevention measures for illnesses such as measles, whooping cough, hand, foot and mouth disease, and respiratory infections, ensure proper environmental sanitation, clean schools and classroom, and practical personal hygiene with soap and water. Parents should ensure the children receive unscheduled vaccinations, both regular and command-based. Additionally, actively participate in War Immunization Week 2024 and the 2024 Missile Vaccination Campaign under the theme United in Vaccination for a Healthy Vietnam. Gangta City aims to eliminate poverty among ethnic minorities' households by 2030, based on the poverty criteria for the 2026-2030 period. To reach this target, the city prioritized addressing the most urgent and challenging issues in ethnic minorities' communities. The city has set a goal that by 2030, there will be virtually no poor households among ethnic minorities, according to the poverty standards for 2026 to 2030. To achieve this, the city is committed to addressing the most urgent and challenging issues in ethnic minority areas, specifically by 2030. The city aims to support nearly 100% of poor and especially disadvantaged ethnic minority households with land and stable housing. Additionally, Gangta City will continue to support the preservation and promotion of ethnic minority cultural identities, investing in education in these areas and strengthen healthcare efforts to ensure access to modern health services. The city also aims for 98% of ethnic minorities to participate in health insurance. The People's Committee of Gangta City has recently released an official directive aimed at enhancing efforts to prevent and combat fraud and property appropriation crimes in cyberspace. In this directive, the committee highlighted nine common methods of fraud. These methods include phone calls, SMS messages, taking over or impersonating social media accounts, recruiting for online jobs, hiring online sales collaborators, setting up securities investment accounts, offering online loans, charity appeals, romance scams, and offering valuable gifts to deceive people, along with various other tactics involving transferring money to designated bank accounts. To enhance the effectiveness of fraud prevention and property appropriation crimes in cyberspace, the chairman of the Gunta City People's Committee has called on the city's Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee, social political organizations, department directors, agency heads, and district-level chairpersons to continue effectively implementing the city's programs and plans based on the central government's conclusions on crime prevention and control in the current context. Additionally, increase awareness of fraud schemes and property appropriation tactics across sectors, organizations, businesses, and the public, using specific cases to promote law compliance and strengthen self-protection measures. The Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union of Taito University recently convened the Congress of Delegates for the 2024-2027 term. During the 2022-2024 term, the Taito University Youth Union will focus on enhancing political, ideological, ethical and lifestyle education for its members and young people. Through various activities, the union will encourage active participation in the Taito University Youth Study and following Ho Chi Minh Thoughts, Ethics and Lifestyle Movement. Emphasis will be placed on the five good student movements to foster a comprehensive development environment. This includes the establishment of nine new faculty-level English clubs, five academic clubs and numerous activities to support students in their studies, scientific research and entrepreneurial skill development. Coming up next is the weather forecast.
thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time